Hello everybody, welcome back to another night update for Kalamazoo Battle Creek International Airport. Uh, this is a modern day update this time. Uh, so a little, little bit of an interesting uh, action went on here in Kalamazoo uh, a few days ago, so uh, might, might as well do an update for it. So um, might as well get started here, uh, here at Gate 2. We have this American Eagle, Eagle 45. Uh, this is in the new delivery, of course. Uh, last few times though, we'll be including this American Eagle Eagle 45 at an airport update. Crazy to say, this has been such a staple here at Kalamazoo. Uh, it's been included in so many updates, but uh, as American, we'll be uh, retiring these by the end, or well, by the by the spring of next year. Uh, that uh, I'll be coming to an end, so it's too bad, really. So um, yeah, this one operated by Envoy as always came in from Chicago O'Hare. It will be staying overnight, and we'll be heading out there. Uh, back to Chicago in the morning. So, uh, I mean, that's been the same thing that we've done for every single one of these Kalamazoo updates. It's been this aircraft on this route. Uh, but uh, it's, it's, I mean, it's an awesome model. It's an awesome aircraft. And it's sad to see that this will be going relatively soon in a few months. So, uh, I'm going to try to make uh, the most of it in, the, in its last uh, few months here. But uh, uh, what a workhorse here for. Kalamazoo. And of course, here is the Delta Connection CRJ200. If I zoom out just a little bit more, you kind of see at the bottom of the screen the, uh, you get the uh, luggage loader, uh, or not the luggage loader, uh, the baggage carts there, uh, getting the baggage loaded off. This one just arrived in from Detroit, operated by Endeavor Air, um, and it will be heading back out there. But um, yeah, that's, the, that's what this one's been doing. This has also been very consistent. Uh, it wasn't this CRJ200, but uh, you know, it's been pretty opt on the CRJ200 for the Detroit service. Uh, this one's parked at gate 4 now. Looks like Delta's moved it over to gate 4. Uh, so they're parked at gate 3 for the summer. And I guess they went to the park at gate 4. I don't know what... That's, that was the same thing that it was last year. I don't really know why they would do that. But I guess that's what they like to do here. So uh, same thing with Delta. Uh, always the Endeavor CRJ200 going to Detroit. And here it is consistent again, uh, routing in from Detroit. And what might be the last time that you'll see this in an airport update, here is the Avello 737-800. I say that because I'm probably going to be getting the Gemini Jet version pretty soon. So, uh, say goodbye to the Shapeways one. Uh, it will be replaced by something better. This will be turned into United 737-800 in the Evo Blue livery, uh, which will do well for many of my airports. So, stay tuned for that, especially Guam. So, uh, this one, uh, the, the special thing that happened here is this flight got delayed. Uh, yeah, very great. So, um... But basically what allowed that to happen is that we had all three aircraft basically here all at the same time uh, in a realistic connotation. So this one arrived basically at the same time as the Delta CRJ-200. The Delta CRJ-200 arrived in a little bit before this one. So this one is just pulling into its gate, uh, gate 5, uh, after arriving in from Orlando, MCO. And uh, yeah, just pulling into its gate. So it looks like these passengers, uh, especially in the flight out, are going to be delayed. This is going to be basically a red-eye flight. So um, it's uh, too bad for them, but uh, you know, made for an interesting airport update here. Some uh, in, it's, an interesting, it's an interesting day at Kalamazoo. As normally this flight leaves before the Delta one arrives, or at least they're really close, so they don't really spend too much time at the airport together. So the Avello flight normally leaves really late, but this will be leaving even later. So that was uh, the cool event here that happened. I don't remember the day that this happened, but I. Saw it on flight radar, and I was going to do an update. And I might have even been in Florida when this happened. Uh, maybe not. I don't quite remember. But I just wanted to do an update for this, even though it's been like it was probably like two or three weeks ago that this happened. So um, might as well still do it. So <laughs> here's the update. But I don't remember the date for this, but I did see this happen. So that was pretty cool. So yeah, this one is just getting uh, just pulling into this, pulling into its gate from Orlando. Uh, will be a long night for the passengers heading out to Orlando. So um, hopefully they're fine with that. But uh, yeah, Velo's a cool airline. I'm glad to see that they're uh, continuing well at Kalamazoo. I'm mean, excited to get the Gemini Jet model that I can uh, incorporate here on uh, airport updates in the future. But that'll do it for this update at Kalamazoo. Thank you all for checking it out once again. Uh, notice that, I know these updates are short and there's just not too much variety, but uh, glad you guys love the Kalamazoo updates and we'll definitely continue them going into the future. So uh, with that being said, thank you all for checking out this video once again. I'll see you tomorrow. As always, good night. I'll see you soon.